hey hi hello welcome back or welcome to today we're going to be checking out a game called snap snap uh i don't know a whole lot about this game i just know that uh there's been a lot of people playing it and checking it out recently so i'm pretty excited because from what i have seen it's all been pretty positive things quick summary of the game having collected information about the unusual corpse for your journalistic investigation you return home from the morgue something is wrong the house has changed and there's a creature wandering in it that is afraid of the camera flash if you know me i'm a huge fan of the game madison which also involves a camera so that's what drew me in uh right to this i don't know anything more i just know that there's a camera so without further ado welcome to snap snap No oh, shit. I'm getting right into it. My good friend Robert, who works as a pathologist, called me that night. He was very excited and scared. A human body had just been brought to the morgue, but he said that it was an unusual corpse. He recommended that I come as soon as possible. If I wanted to be the one. first to receive materials for an article that could become a real sensation. After 20 minutes, I was already in the morgue. And what I saw shocked me. Blackened limbs, gray skin, empty eye sockets, teeth of a very strange shape, as if they had been sharpened, and incredible thinness. It was just a skeleton with skin stretched over him. Robert said that the police do not yet have a theory and are waiting for the forensics report. Of course they do not share information. They did not even say when and how the body was found. But there are already a lot of weird things about this body, both with its appearance um, and the fact that the body has incredibly cold on skin here. and it has not decomposed, although apparently death occurred several days ago. I'm really looking forward to Robert's conclusion. And tomorrow morning, I'll go to the police station and talk to my friend Fred. Maybe he can tell me some interesting details about this case. I think I've stumbled upon something very interesting. Very, very interesting, ah. Uh... Oh. What the fuck? That's a gnarly paper cut. Damn it! How did I manage to cut myself? I need to treat the wound with peroxide. It should be in the bathroom. Alright, so I gotta admit, right out of the gate, uh, voice acting is already very promising. Oh, shit. Don't keep that picture with us. It is kind of reminding me of, um... Like uh, mortuary assistant type lore, but obviously not gameplay. Peroxide, peroxide. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? What was that? You know, and I will say, keeping it kind of on the theme of uh, Madison, that uh, that kind of looked like Blue Knees, not gonna lie. Wonder if this is kind of inspired. What the shit? I'm very scared. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, not that way. Yeah, so we have to find eyeballs, it looks like. Oh no. If you guys know me with puzzles, Rut Raragi.
So it appears he kind of sticks in the darkness then. This is a uh, survival horror, so we probably are going to die a good amount. The entrance is only open and blank is ready. Yeah, there's a lot of damn puzzles. We got our handy dandy camera now though. Okay. What the fuck is this? A little bit of like um, I need to get out of here right now. Layers of fear esque. I'm very scared. I think going into complete darkness is not a good idea. I actually kind of already dig this though. like it when you don't play by the rules. Okay. So. We should all keep that thing on us. So red four. The battery is dead. I need to charge it at the station. Oh no. We're out of batteries. I didn't know where he was. Today 
when Jack returned from the garage, he brought with him a painting, a stupid painting. It depicts a strange oh, we creature. Give the beer now to the Just guy the sight the, uh... of this picture gives me goosebumps. But Jack really liked it for some reason. We agreed that it would hang in his office. True, I felt a little pissed off after he refused to throw the painting away. It scares the hell out of me. I don't want this crap in our house. I don't want this crap in our house. What? I didn't make this entry. Um, yes, that's for sure. I remember thinking about it, but how come my thoughts are on this tape? Alright, so red four, yellow two. I got you your beer. There you go. There you go, friend. The nursery key. You want chips now. I guess this is the nursery. So this is a very, very uh, balloonies encounter. Jack suddenly had a desire to draw. Now he spends all his free time doing that. He mostly draws some kind of abstraction. It was kind of cute at first. Danny drew with him. Jack had never spent so much time with his son before. Danny was literally glowing with happiness. But, but then Jack started drawing terrible things. I don't want to so describe it. I never even saw this in my nightmares. He started covering the house walls with his drawings and it infuriated me. On top of that, Danny began to imitate his dad and hung up his drawings. Jack and I had a big fight over this. Not only do the paintings spoil the entire design that I've been thinking through for so long, but the house has also become very uncomfortable. And creepy. And creepy. Alright, so we got the bag of chips now. I'm still keeping this thing on me. You want chips now, huh? Tell you the chips. The kitchen key. Hey, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Something strange is happening to Jack. Yeah, I'd say. He has become incredibly nervous and irritable and drinks almost all the time. Where does this The state? whole house is already littered with his fucking drawings. At night, he stands for hours in front of that painting he found in the garage and drinks and drinks until he collapses, unconscious, in front of it. I tried to talk to him, suggested that he seek help, but he didn't want to hear anything. When Jack was not home, I found drugs in his office. I think it was LSD. LSD. 
God. That would be why he's uh, seeing all this shit. In a fit of anger and despair, I threw the drawings in the trash. I was terrified seeing Jack on the threshold of the house with that, oh, with that fucking picture. We started arguing and, and he hit me. This can't go on like it's anymore. No, before I could avoid give him the stake. Going to charge my battery again. So we've got red four, yellow two, blue five. We just need a green one now. For the one lock. Alright, give him the steak. Steak. Oh, what the fuck's going on down here, huh? Okay, motherfucker. Oh, the crowbar. Need that for the kids' room. I have that thing on me. Gosh, old bitch ass. This is actually really cool, though. Like the uh, the system. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, despite it being a uh, survival horror, which I'm not typically very fond of. What the fuck? Scare. Okay, the toilet seat. It's just heavy. Wait, does this connect? It does. Well, fuck. Alright, I got a pink eye. <laughs> we don't want pink eye, but I have pink eye. Just need the uh, the green number. Oh, could it be on the ceiling? I haven't been watching the ceiling. Five yellow two, red four yellow two, 
Green 7. Alright, red 4, yellow 2, green 7. Jack. I wanted to get a court order that would keep Jack from seeing his son, but as soon as he learned about the divorce, he that immediately pulled eye. himself together. Bastard. He accused me of leaving him in a time of need. A blatant lie. How dare he? How dare he? Well, the hardest part is over, but I'm very worried about Danny. Now he's having the hardest time of all of us. He misses his dad, and after we moved, he doesn't let go of the soft toy with an alarm clock that Jack gave him. Alright, so next we can try this puzzle. Oh, it's just color. Red and yellow make pink. Blue and red uh, make that. Oh, I need one more eyeball. Shit. We're going to top our battery off. I assume that the um actually I don't I don't know about the uh, the door with like all the pencils or whatever in them. I have no idea where that one's gonna But here is the last eyeball. can chill. Mommy, I want to move to your place. <laughs> Daddy hurt me. We watched TV and everything was fine. Then the TV played static and Dad told me to hit that damn piece of shit real quick. Good. I hit the TV, but it didn't help. Damn. Dad screamed that I hit like a girl. He jumped off the couch, grabbed me, and slammed my head against the TV three times. After that, damn, damn. the TV started working. He let me go and... As if nothing had happened, sat down to continue watching the movie. That's not supposed to happen. Adults should not hurt children, especially their children. Jesus, fuck. That's dark. Alright, 
I'm just trying to go to the eyeball door. Don't mind me. Do not mind me one bit. Oh shit, I'm lost. No, I'm not. It's over here. Fuck off. confused because all of those colors do mix they mix the right way too you forgive can you forgive took his picture. I took his picture.
Certainly is that not correct? I'm just saying, I I definitely know my way around the uh, color wheel. I think my next step is getting into that door, but... another take though. Mommy, my dad scares me. He started shouting at me that I was a loser and that I should be ashamed. But this is not true. I am an A student. Why is daddy acting like this? He again smelled, he smelled a lot like alcohol. And also I saw something very scary. He wanders around the house with an axe, but it's not really him. Uh -oh. It's not my daddy. It's very similar to him, but at the same time, it looks like like that creature from the picture. I am very scared. Please, Which mommy, picture? take me to your place. Daddy, where are you? Maybe that picture. <laughs> it's a super cool concept though, it's like he lives in the paintings. I remember what else did that. It's either a game or a movie though. Okay. Yellow and blue make green. Yellow and red make pink. No, they make orange. God fuck. Pink damn it. Never mind, I'm the dumbass. We're having a pillow fight? Oh yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I know you're in the basement! Get out! Otherwise it'll only get worse! If this simple thing can't fit into your head, then you Aww. don't need your head at all! Come on, I'm trying to fit into this kid's head and stuff like <laughs> Come over here! No, I don't know! I beg you to stop! You're hurting me! Now I'll punish you first! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This game got pretty fucking dark.
hi there. actually yeah, pretty damn good all right so that was snap snap actually super impressed uh i'm a little confused i don't know how there are four different endings <laughs> if you guys want me to uh search for the other endings let me know down in the comments i might stream it on twitch if i do end up doing that but honestly i went into this without much of an expectation um like i said i saw some of the screenshots and uh it looked good but Typically with a lot of these, especially survival horrors uh, that are indie made, they're very rinse and repeat, but this one was actually pretty refreshing. Uh, my only big gripe with it would be uh, the story was um, a little short. It was pretty dark though, which I can appreciate. It's a... Uh, it's very fun to, uh, it's very exciting to see uh, these horror games push further and further and push all these boundaries because the darkest shit in the world is the most horrific and the darkest shit is real shit. But yeah, this was, this was great. I definitely need to check out more from this dev because I fucked heavy with that. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoy Lolo Me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never ending backlog of horror games that you're going to be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror suggestions, let me know down in the comments because I'm always open to expanding this never ending list. But until next time, bye.